Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I wanted to talk about the Lovecraft um, event starting in about 13 hours from the time of this video being uploaded. So, what do you need to know? Well, um, this event is of course energy based like it has been um, every year. There are plenty of things to look forward to. Lots of um, vanities coming up in this event. Um, you look here the black uh, tuxedo this one you can loot from the locked Huthulian crate which is making a comeback again not sh sure if the old ones will have these new vanities i think not they may need to rename those but we will see what happens the blue tuxedo here is sold from the valentine token vendor we'll talk about that later on and so forth the pink is of course uh, looted from the Huthulu itself and the red one can be purchased from store similar cases with the dresses as well they're on the top of the screen if you want to read them but they respectively go the same way uh, we also got new 3d glasses right here looks pretty cool um, this will come in handy for when movies and stuff comes in and the chaos um, visor which is this really nice looking um, glasses I do like them there are two new uh, vanities uh, that are going to be introduced as well so we have uh, this Hutulu's Love Sanity uh, uh, set which is uh, this one right here you can only get it from um, the Hutulu craze and the pink one is called star gods love sanity set which is a leaderboard reward for the top 10 player so most people will probably have this but this one feel free to get that we also got uh, the broken heart bag vanity looks like this it's a heart in a glass it is um, interesting and onyx love wings which look like this personally not a big fan of the wings but it might be better in the game yet to see we got a new pet coming as well similar stats to uh zulong i would say uh probably uh the happiness bonus is very similar uh slightly less than zulong i think and what make this pet good is the uh, the cosmic hero arcane ability i think this will come in very handy at the higher level because it can charm monsters and um it deals damage so this will be probably equivalent to heroic fog um yeah if you can get this pet looks pretty cool very deformed but uh, some people will like it we also get a gold murfkin uh, mask which was there last year this year it is a golden version which you can get from store there's also a Hutulian crate in the store. These ones have three pools, unlike the regular ones, which are one pool. You can find many things like I can fossil, I can shot, heroic, uh, shogoth, shogoth, I would say, um, in the crate as well. And of course, there is a level 76 and less love set as well coming in. This is the stats for Rogue. Um, this is for mage as you can see you can pause the video and have a closer look if you like as to what the armors are i will make a separate video comparing them to previous endless and tented set um, i think the red one is the endless set and the green ones like this is the tainted set <coughs> apologies have a cold this other weapon, this is personally not the best. I I was a bit underwhelmed by this DPS considering the 76 arcane um, weapon has, uh, I think, 1080 DPS, whereas this has uh, 9, 891. So I was a bit disappointed as how less it is. But um, we'll see how it performs in terms of the a bit the proc, uh, proc that it has um vanity wise they the weapon vanity wise they don't really look any different it looks similar to last year's one 
but I do like the new sets look as well. So here it says endless love sets red. And you can upgrade this using a Hutulu purple rose in from the crafting inventory section like last year. These pieces can of course uh the both the endless set and the tent set can be um can be looted from Hutulu and Hutulu Prime respectively. But the endless can also be upgraded to tainted using a um, purple rose. The uh, the both of these um, armors and helmets have same stats, and they only differ in the in the sets. They have same stats, but only differ in the bonus that you get from them. Um, this bonus, of course, like every year, works in all areas of the game, including PvP. So it's pretty nice to have in all maps. I will probably get myself the level 70 extended set, just because if you look at my keys now, not actually uh, that impressive. I I sold all my gear, and I'm just waiting for something good to come. Uh, if I want it, this is like my best stat at the moment so hopefully having the tainted set will up that a bit so i can uh, play more um, in a better party in um, end game so going back um the endless love armor and helmet comes from the locked and draft from Mutulu, and um just information i gave you guys from earlier on the stat bonus for this are three for the endless two of two sets so armor and helmet 300 health 300 mana 25 all stat 200 armor and the shogun and octopus pets receive a damage bonus buff that includes previous the octopus pets are referring to previous years octopus uh, uh, pets like thog and heroic thog and there's one more but i can't remember at the moment so for the tented it's double the stat of um almost everything so you get 600 health 600 mana 35 percent all stat 6.5 crit chance 50 damage now this 50 damage not to be underestimated this is actually a huge um buff to your damage you get 300 350 armor and 10 boss damage it also has a bonus proc when you have all three chance upon killing an enemy to get additional 25% boss, boss damage 25% armor mitigation 25% speed in pvp 15% armor mitigation i think this might be in pvp not sure i'm not sure why they have repeated it twice 15% mana chance you know and um yeah so i think this is for pvp and the other is for pve we get 15% armor mitigation, 15% manage ignore chance, and 15% speed for 8 seconds in PvP. This year also we have the fleeting laugh farmer elixir, which is making a comeback, and thank god it is, because this thing is great. It will it will uh, make sure Utulu Prime drops to uh, it will improve it will make it will make the Hutulu Christ drop twice. From Hutulu Prime, increase the chances of all this. So you get uh, the Hunter Drag Bones, Story Tokens, and Revive Angs. You get Gold Lovecraft, Lovecraft Chest, which where where you can do paper parchment form to make into love letters to summon Hutulu Prime. Talk about that later on in another video. Also get the love set weapons with the Prime Bros, the broken heart back vanity we saw earlier, the mask that was being sold, and the pink and blue dress vanity from Utsulu Prime. This person is this mob will this boss will also grant you extra loot. Um and higher probably not higher gold, but he he will give you more points toward your um to your toward your tier this is probably the best way to tier up but at least one person in your party has to be gold tier to open this uh, love letters
We also have Hutulu who will drop gold Lovecraft chests as chance to and add a chance to drop two gold Lovecraft chests. We'll drop all this uh, tokens like we talked about earlier. It increases his chance of dropping endless love sets armor and helmet as chance to drop a zillion crate and the pink and blue tuxedos just like before. Now this boss didn't achieve much love last year. But this year, this is being really OP. So we have the increased drop chance of a Tullian crate, which you can get from the other bosses. So I guess it's not that important. Um, you can get Golden Lovecraft chest, which is helpful, I guess, if you're opening them. The parchment do sell for quite a bit. Last year, they were about 150k, 200k, dropping down to 30k by the end of the event. We also have gemstone cloth toggers, um, which is, which we haven't seen yet, I think. No, we haven't seen that yet. I'll show you guys in a sec as we go down. They have, uh, the reason this guy is important is because it adds the chance to drop Arcana Shaping Stone. We, you use this to make a special version of Hulu Locked Crate. Which is where most of the farmers, I think, are going to make their money from. Is open is selling the paper and finding the shaping stone at this point. You can make the Hutulian Lock Crate 2020 uh, to craft the Hugs Arcane Lock Crate 2020. This will allow you to... This contains the level 76 death engine weapons. In addition to everything contained in the Hutulian Lock Crate 2020. So the most people that are using Platinum, and if you are someone using Platinum, I recommend you use this because this crate will be so much better than if you loot all the lucky things in this crate, will still not compare to looting something really good in here, like the Dagger, Dagger, Dagger Dagger. You, uh, you also need at, to at least kill two mini bosses in the map before you get access to Hutulu. So they will be in two zones of the map. So I think that was kind of similar like last year because people were rushing to boss and get some problem. But you can also get the arcade uh, shaping stone and gemstone cloth taggers, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also get another pet, the Shogut pet. This one is not heroic. It's actually a pretty good pet. I thought this was a really nice. You can buy it from the um, store on the 18th. This is an arcane version, version, not a heroic version. So it's probably a really good one. It's got 25% damage, 30% primary stat, 50 old stat, 15% and crit chance. But what makes this good is the 15% damage resist. I think this is huge, especially for, uh, well, this is huge for any character, to be honest. Um, probably uh, mages and warriors could use it more than uh, rogues, though rogues can use some da damage resist as well. But definitely warriors would come in handy, in especially hard maps and mage is just because they have really low resistance unless they play from a distance but if you like to get in the action then this could be something you want it creates a mold and turning shock of it that deals damage and has 50 percent chance to charm targets to your side for 15 seconds so same arcane ability as the one earlier before but really op pet i would probably get this for myself if i looted it i'd probably keep it now, for the next part is the Vandal. What can you get from your hard-earned tokens? You can, of course, get the Golden Love Elixir to get the Golden Love Letters, which I would recommend trying for. Last year, the drops were really bad, but hopefully this is better this year. You could get Love Elixir, Temporary Heart Effects, and Grass Nearby Place Candy Hearts. If we go here, I may have one of this, so you can see what that actually looks like I'm not sure if uh, maybe in another character but I do have some of those from last year as well 
You can get parchment paper used to craft the love letter for summoning Hugulu Prime. You can get legendary shogun pet. Oh, I wonder if this is legendary or arcane. See, the red glow makes me think it's arcane, but it says legendary. So, not sure. We'll have to see when that comes. You get the. Um, you get the soulmate bag vanity. This is pretty cool. Um, from there, you can get the unlocked with look right. Probably not worth opening. The blue tuxedo, Love Legends blue tuxedo said the pink one. Uh, this is the faded love wings. Looks pretty nice. Um, this is the creatine satin robes which you can buy. Um, the lace mask, the chaos visor. The 3D glasses, the 4 second love floating house. So this is pretty cool. I'd, I'd probably buy that. Um, so you get hard effects on top of you. Um, the chest um, also contains um, Cupid's platinum wings like those one. Uh, burning love. Burning um, love wings. You can get um, love letter vanities. Uh, love elixir. Love candy hat. Um, killing of the look gives you tier points also, climb through bronze, silver, gold, and plat, and at gold tier and above, you can use the love ladder, of course, someone of the look prime at his altar. Um, he's a 76 boss, so it doesn't matter what level you are, he, he, his, his difficulty will not change, so if you're below, I recommend you check out my, uh, leveling guide and level up real quick for for that, that's what I that's what I did. I'm level seventy six now. Um, but again, the gleaming balloon bouquet vanity looks nice. At gold here, I'll get two uh, one height uh, banner. This I really like. The tiers are basically if you want to farm Hotelu Prime, which is where all your gold will be. You get a pa pa paramour title, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure this looks familiar. I'm not sure if we have this title already Get some assorted other stuff, but You get this really nice banner for um, top 50 Which is really nice. I kind of want to run for a little bit just for this banner it looks nice uh, Though I don't think I'll have the time so There is legendary love title for top 10 players you get the star golds love sanity armor and helm precious jewel I'll be better and some platinum and and stuff. This event's ban item is Enthralled Talisman, which I have a few of. If you want one of those, leave your IGN below at the video, and I'll be I'll uh, give one of those away to someone lucky. To someone, um, I have one here. I have one in my other character and I think few others so um yeah this is pretty much all I will keep you guys updated on any changes that happen and what you can expect in the future as well as how to make gold in the future thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye